welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general love reading for um, Gemini. You could have Gemini in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Gemini, please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Um, roles can be reversed. So this could be you, this could be your person, okay? Um, if you need or want to get a reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or your situation, my email is in the description box below. I do offer $10 off of first-time clients who get their first reading with me. So definitely ch ch um, check that out, okay? If there's going to be an extended to this reading, that will also be in the description box below, okay? All right, let's see. What's going on for Gemini and love, please, spirit? What's going on for Gemini and love? Okay. We have the Ace of Swords. So you're getting truth and clarity here in your relationship. This truth may cause an argument because the Ace of Swords is not only about having absolute clarity, but it can also talk about conflicts as well. So whatever this truth is or whatever this clarity is that you're receiving and or giving, because remember it can be vice versa, it could cause a conflict. What else, please, for Gemini in love? Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah, it's going to end badly. The truth is that someone has betrayed you more than once. More than once. This person, whomever you were dealing with, they have literally betrayed you multiple times. And it's about to end quite badly. If it hasn't already, it's about to. My readings can tend to be very future predictive, so keep that in mind, okay? What else, please? The High Priestess. Wait. Yeah, the High Priestess in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Secrets are coming out. It's like you get the truth about this person betraying you, but you have no idea. Like, you literally have no idea how bad it actually is until after you, it's, it's over. And then that's when the truth really comes out. That this person has not only betrayed you one time, but like ten times. Okay, with like multiple people. In this situation or whatever this relationship is, um, whether it was marriage or engagement or living together, or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, you know, whatever it is. Partners, whatever. It's ending pretty badly. And then after it ends, that's when you realize or it's told to you. Obviously, you know... How do I say this? Be mindful of what people tell you. Sometimes people have um, ulterior motives or they have an agenda. Um, vet your sources, basically. You know, if they don't have proof, they can't really vet it. Then, yeah, maybe you want to hear what they have to say. But if they don't have any proof to, to back up the claims that they are stating, then it's probably hearsay. It's probably bullshit. So just be mindful of that. You know what I'm saying? Also, too, you could be dealing with a cancer or a Pisces that isn't who they claim to be. And you're realizing the truth about an individual. Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. This person is going, okay, when they realize that you know the truth about them, they're going to turn on you. They're going to switch up on you is what I just heard. This could, and even though this is romantic love, this could also be in the workplace, eight of pentacles reverse. This person may actually try to get you fired or um, tarnish your reputation. Whenever they realize that you know or you can see who they really are versus how they want you to see them. They, if it's if it's not necessarily romantic love, maybe it's friends at work or something like that, or maybe some something like that. They're either going to try to get you fired, or they're going to try to ruin your reputation, especially if you're your own business owner. So, whenever they realize this, that's what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to they're going to try to do a smear campaign on you. Now, if it's a romantic partner, same thing applies. What else, please? Yeah, eight of cups. You're walk yeah, you're walking away from this person. Or you're walking away from this relationship or this person is telling people that they left you when maybe you left them. Who cares? You're you're out of the situation, right? Or 
whenever you get the secrets going to be revealed about this individual about how bad they've actually stabbed you in the back and they also gossiped about gossip about you as well um you're going to realize that you made the right decision to walk away from this individual because they really they ain't much you know what i'm saying what is this tell me more about this ace of swords please for gemini why is this here ace of cups in reverse with the sun card in reverse this person what they didn't have real love for you with the ace of cups reverse and the sun card reverse they really weren't happy for your wins your successes they really didn't love you and i know that's hard to hear but with ace of cups reverse the truth is they didn't really have true genuine affection for you or love for you romantically if it's a romantic relationship or if it's a friendship they really didn't they really didn't care about you the or they really didn't have love for you the way that they claimed whomever this person is to you whether it's platonic love romantic love this person literally wished you nothing but ha uh, wished you nothing but uh, to be unhappy if this is like a silent enemy like a, a hater like a silent hater whether now it's like a jealous hater right but they'll they'll pretend that they're in love with you or they'll pretend that like they're your friend but really they're just plotting your downfall that's the kind of energy that i'm getting and then you're going to realize this after the fact and you're going to realize you made the right decision to walk away from this person because they're really not a nice person or no offense gemini they could be realizing this about you maybe I mean, I don't know. It could be vice versa. So take. Why is this in the swords here? Reverse. Yeah, the Empress reverse. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Libra or a Cancer. Whomever you've been dealing with, this person is not who they claim to be. In a romantic sense, and or it's a friend. The whole time that they were telling you that they were in love with you, telling you that they love you, telling you that they care about you, or telling you that they're your friend, whatever, whatever. The whole time, the whole time they were plotting for your downfall because they see you as competition. Even if you're in a relationship with them, like romantically, they see you, they're jealous, and they see you as competition. They compete with you. They want, the best way to tell if someone is doing that is that they try to one-up you anytime you tell them anything. That's how to tell. This is a one-upper. Romantic relationship. And if it's a friend, same thing. They said, oh, I care about you. You're my friend. You're my soul sister, my soul brother. You know, uh, we're, we're meant to be friends, whatever, whatever. But anytime you tell them anything, they one-up you. Anytime you you know want to talk with them they're nowhere to be found or they bring the subject back to themselves they don't acknowledge you or they make or they tell you or make you feel like there's something wrong with you for having feelings or they tell you you're confused or maybe i don't know spirit like or you you know you're too sensitive or some shit like that it's a very gaslighting person whether it's a romantic person or it's a friendship person this person either way didn't have, whether it's a friend or a lover they really didn't have true genuine feelings for you they really didn't love you in any capacity romantic person or friend they really didn't wish you well and they really weren't the person that they portray themselves to be people pretend well gemini unfortunately they truly pretend well they really do this could be even a same-sex relationship or a friendship because high priestess reverse, empress reverse. Okay? That's two women here. And those are only court courts, like, well, they're the major arcanas, but this person, you know, again, it could be friend, could be relationship, whatever. Whomever this person is, they were jealous of the fact that you, one, are a good mother or a good father. They were jealous of the fact that you were psychic of gifts and abilities. They were jealous of the fact that you were, you know, kind of happy-go-lucky. They're jealous of the fact of how smart you are, how intelligent you are, how tech savvy you are. You know, they're just, um, they're just f a fucking hater, basically. I'm trying not to cuss so much in my readings, but straight up. And you're realizing this after like the ended kind of nasty, 
that you did the right thing by walking away. Like you might have second guessed yourself, but I feel like it's going to be confirmed for you after the fact that yes, you did the right thing. Now, again, consider your source. Whomever's telling you this or however you're saying, make sure you consider the source, vet the sources. I encourage people on my channel to vet me, right? And to do their own research because when you do your own research, it sticks better and above all else to trust their own intuition and listen to their ancestors and their guides and whomever their higher power is first and foremost, right? Because I, for me personally, I want my subscribers and my clients to ultimately believe in themselves. You know, I'm not saying I don't want readings and not saying I don't want people to get readings from me. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like, eventually I want you guys to be so bedrock solid in yourself that, you know, maybe you only need to get a reading maybe twice a year, maybe three times a year just to check up on stuff or when you absolutely need to. You know what I mean? Because I want you to be able to go out there and live your life and for it to be great. That's, now, that's not to say that I won't take readings because I do take readings. But what I mean is like, I want people to do the work so they can move on. So, anyways, you are moving on or you have moved on. And when, when this has taken place, you're going to realize, yeah, I'm fucking mad. I dodged a bullet with this one basically because this person really did not like fuck with you like that. Like really didn't. They did not wish you well. They were very jealous of you. Of, you know, just jealous of you. And believe it or not, romantic partners can be jealous of each other too. You know, that, that sometimes happens. This person, whomever you were dealing with was like pretty toxic. So... Or, you know, again, cross-watcher could apply it either way, whatever. Um, what's this high priestess reverse? So what else is being revealed? Please listen to your intuition, though, because I'm worried about this. Don't walk away from your intuition, though. She will guide you. She or he will guide you, whatever your intuition is, okay? We'll guide, your intuition will guide you. So please listen to that above all else, okay? Show me the high priestess reverse. Hi, Priestess Reverse, please. Okay. Now we have the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. So this person was trying to use you to elevate themselves. That's what I just heard. In order to reject you. They were trying to like piggyback off of your your nature, your your abilities, your intelligence, your um giving nature your um psychic gifts or spiritual power they were trying to siphon off of that to to do something with it to amplify themselves that's what i'm getting yeah magician reverse at the bottom of the deck yep justice in reverse too and the seven of swords reverse here's the deal this person is going to get karma for this they were trying to manipulate you. They were trying to use magic against you to siphon off your psychic and spiritual energy to amplify their magic to force karma either on somebody else or you. That's being revealed. Seven of Swords verse. This person is like an energy vampire. That's what it is. This person is an energy vampire in any capacity. And they, they really didn't like, I don't care if they got a million dollars in the bank. I don't care if they got, um, you know, the fancy car, house, whatever. And, you know, you don't have a million dollars in the bank. I don't care. That person, this person is still an energy vampire because they use other, hold on, spirits tell me. They use other people's energies, like spiritual energy, um, spiritual, uh, you know, psychic gifts and things like that. They're just their, their life force to amplify their magic to make them rich. And to force justice on other people that they don't want them to be successful. That shit is being revealed. And this person was trying to do the same thing to you. Now, if they don't have money or whatever, they were just trying to leech off of you. Straight up. Straight up. And this is all going to be revealed to you. 
after the fact though when you when this is all ended if it hasn't already show me the eight of cups please yeah the full card reverse you're walking away from this person's like foolery this mind games this carelessness this this person's very reckless they're very reckless and that's being revealed about this person that they're very impulsive very reckless very imbalanced very vindictive very spiteful very unloving very un here's the thing all generosity isn't generous and all help isn't good help keep that in mind remember that all generosity isn't generous especially if they use it against you later on pay attention to how this person if this hasn't happened yet i want you to pay attention one do they talk crap about other people to you if so trust and believe they talk about you to other people have they tried to ruin other people publicly if so trust and believe if they think you've crossed you you've crossed them in any capacity whether you have or not if you even try to say the truth about this individual they will do the same to you you are no exception to the rule this person romantic or platonic friend or lover this person is very manipulative self-serving narcissistic asshole basically basically but they hide it very well behind the guise of being very generous and very kind and very loving when when in reality they're absolutely the opposite of that they're cold calculated um, callous manipulative cruel and probably very hateful and i'm hearing prejudice as well so keep that in mind vet though always vet please keep that in mind but i feel like you are seeing the truth about this individual and you're like i want a part of it i want a part of it um i am going to do an extended that will be in linked in the description box below but let's see who you're dealing with who is gemini dealing with regarding this reading please could be a virgo yourself or another gemini a libra aquarius have all the air signs out now taurus a cancer a leo capricorn so gemini you could be dealing with a capricorn virgo taurus gemini cancer libra leo aquarius sun moon rising venus in your chart and or in their chart or combination of the two let's see um in the extended i'm gonna get my hater my hater exposed deck out and see exactly what this person's problem is and see what's gonna happen with it and get all the tea that i can on this person let's see so this could be first middle last initial of your name this person's name romantic or friend wise also can make words kind of like a puzzle what do you have for Gemini, please? Okay, we have a good bit. Okay. So, first letter is I. O. D. U. V. F. I. I S E L I X T S D N R A D O I A and C. All right, let's see. Guidance guidance please for gemini regarding this reading please guidance please for gemini regarding this reading what does gemini need to know okay 
you have crafter, can't read it upside down. It's in reverse, crafter and creativity, but in the reverse, okay? Let me read it to you. It's number 15. Hold on one second. And it talks about all, oh, excuse me, allow vision and creativity to awaken and follow, uh, excuse me, let me, let me start over. <laughs> allow vision and creativity to awaken and flow, to craft a world that speaks of the old ways, okay? It's in reverse, so it's the shadow side. And it says, um, sensory overload may have cause your visual perceptions to close down instead of denying the creative pursuits you love start crafting making and creating um, get stuck in and let your natural skills and talents shape your imagination once again um, but also to like don't share with this person any creative ideas or ventures or projects because I feel like this person whether it's romantic and or um, platonic whether it's a friend or a lover they're gonna they're gonna try to steal it from you I'm, I'm spirits like yes so don't okay I, I well I'm going to not tell you what to do but I highly 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 encourage you not to do that and please don't share them down here because I don't want anybody else to take them so protect them okay so all right well i'm going to go over to the extended now i know it's supposed to be just a love reading but i did pick up strongly on the friend thing too so apply it where it fits take it if it resonates if it doesn't you know chuck it all right well i love you gemini please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you next time bye